What is up ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Brandon Coin YouTube channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the updated Bitcoin solo mining CPU application for your Windows computer. So you can solo mine Bitcoin, legitimately mining actual Bitcoin uh, on any Windows based computer. So I do have a link and we're using Mega Upload now because Google Drive kept removing it because of the bat files. They just hate bat files, but um, it is on Mega Upload and it's gonna be available down below in the description. This is version 1.5. We were testing some things. Uh, but we have now set an added CPU affinity. So it locks the cores or the threads to what it's actually doing. At least that's how it was explained to me. I have seen about, about a 5% hash rate bump, um, but make sure you don't set all your threads. So if you have a four core, eight thread system, if you set it at eight threads, it'll potentially lock up your system. Um, but now let me dive into it and show you because we have a nice little GUI now. So it just makes things simpler because some people were having some issues setting up their wallets. So let's dive into it. So we're gonna go over here and there we go. So uh, this is our uh, Jelly BTC Solo Miner CPU Miner version 1.5. So after you extract it or unzip it from the zipped file, you will encounter something that looks like this. Launch Miner, Miner RD, and then BTC Solo CPU 1.5. So we're gonna click on Launch Miner, and it comes up with a, a little GUI now, nothing special. A wallet address is defaulted to my wallet address, so you'll need to change that. And then at the end, you put a period, and you type in whatever your worker name you want it to be, so like worker. So wallet address dot, and then your worker name. So it could be, you know, like, let's see here. Um, we'll put it as Dono CPU. And then threads, we're gonna just set this at, let's say two thread, or let's say four threads, and then click launch miner. That'll open up a command prompt and start, start actually mining. You can click on pool stats and that'll open up a web page that'll take you to uh, the jellyfish BTC solo mining pool, and then you can enter your wallet address in in that web page to actually see your stats. And then the Discord button will bring you over to the Jellyfish Coin Community Discord. So um, just making things a little bit easier for everybody. But let's go ahead and launch the miner. Yep, so it is going to ask for um, admin privileges this time and for miner threads started using SHA-256. And we are on the BTC Jelly FC uh, pool mining on port 5001. So Stratum requested work restart. You'll get that every now and then. And um, we're up and mining. So there it is, ladies and gentlemen. It is that simple. Now when you close out of the application, it will save your new wallet address, whatever it ends up being, um, in the config file in this folder. So as long as you don't move anything out of here, you should be hunky-dory. And then, so let's go ahead and close this and then close this. So next time we launch it, it will already have everything filled in correctly. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much how the cookie crumbles. Um, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, please drop them down below in the description. And uh, if you want to uh, look up how your stats are, you just copy your web address, go to pool stats. It will pull up right here, hold on. Where are we at here? There we are. Um, put your wallet address in and then hit load wallet stats and you'll see your what's actually going on. Um, okay, so that is the wrong stats page. This is for Bitcoin too. I will get that fixed and put it over for the Bit regular Bitcoin. Um, I don't know why I have it going to that one. It is definitely needs to be changed to the Bitcoin solo pool. Yeah, that's gonna be solo connect. Yep, so I'm gonna go get that fixed now because I already uploaded this and now I need to delete that upload uh, and fix that and then re-upload it. But yeah, so then you, you put it in right here, then you hit load wallet stats, then it'll show your hash rate. You can click on workers, show your what workers are actually um, 
putting in work right here and uh, blocks obviously we've hit no blocks because if we did this would be a very different video now some people said it's a waste of time to CPU mine Bitcoin with four threads I'm get around 60 mega hash would 60 mega hash hit a Bitcoin block probably not but I can let four threads run in the background. It doesn't affect my performance. It doesn't affect my gaming. Uh, this is a 16-thread uh, computer, so I'm only using you know what, about 20% of it, and um, it, it doesn't it doesn't really actually hurt anything. Uh, some people said, "Oh, mining, you know, it's going to ruin your computer." I, that, as long as you're not overheating your your CPU, you're going to be fine. Um, and running a couple threads is not going to hurt anything. So if you do or are worried about your CPU temperature, you can go to like Hardware Info or HW Info. That's a really good free utility to look up your CPU uh, temperatures, make sure everything's all good there. But other than that, should you CPU mine Bitcoin? Probably not. Will you hit a Bitcoin block? block? Probably not. But if you do, just remember me. You know what I'm saying? Just remember me. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's like gambling. Don't tell YouTube, but it's, it's, it's like crypto gambling. It doesn't cost you much, and you might hit one day. Anyway, with that being said, uh, we are coming out with a GPU miner for Bitcoin. So if you want to solo mine with your GPU, that's going to be coming out here soon got a couple more tweaks we're also going to be a dedicated or have a dedicated version come out for uh, the bc2 pool so if you want to solo mine bc2 or actually uh, pool mine bc2 that's going to come out as well anyway guys y'all have a good one i'll see you on the flip side adios